The fourth video I ever made on this channel was on Plato's Cave, one of the great analogies of philosophy. In that video, and in the Descartes video as well, I've mentioned how the idea has evolved since then, and now the one we see more often is the idea of brains in vats. Ever since that first video on Plato many moons ago, I wanted to discuss an argument put forward by a man called Hilary Putnam on why you are definitely not a brain in a vat. The reason I haven't yet made this video is for two reasons. One, laziness, and also the knowledge that I would need to fully articulate the problem first. This then is the video on the problem and next week we will discuss Putnam's response. Though its roots can be seen in Plato, the problem didn't really get a good representation until Descartes wrote the Meditations on First Philosophy. Now, we have covered this before in more detail, but to go over the problem quickly, we can't be sure of anything because everything we believe to be true now may instead be some sort of grand deception by an all-powerful demon, and therefore we can't be certain about anything in this world. Now, Descartes here is not stating that this is true, simply that it is possible. Now, let's consider the modern equivalent. It is possible that you could be a brain floating in a vat somewhere, being fed nutrients to keep you alive. This brain, you, is hooked up to a computer, simulating the whole of the world. The world you think you're in now. The experiences you have in this world are indistinguishable from the experiences that you would have in the real world. And therefore, you could not possibly know that you are in fact a brain in a vat. A prison for your mind. It should be noted here that the skeptic presenting this is not making any claims about truth nor ontology, that's what exists, but instead is making an epistemological claim, a claim about knowledge. The skeptic's challenge can be broken down like this. 1. If you know that P, then you know that you are not a brain in a vat. 2. You do not know that you are not a brain in a vat. 3. Therefore you do not know P. P here is any proposition about the external world. This is just a more laid out formulation of the problem the brain in the vat hypothesis leads us to. But it does help to present the same problem in different ways. It helps with understanding, or at least I think it does. We now see that we cannot possibly know this is not the case, or do we? You'll have to find out next week when we discuss Putnam's famous refutation of the hypothesis. So before next week, I want you to, you know, mull over this question, give it some real thought, because it's it's an interesting question, and um, put any thoughts or ideas that you have about this down in the comments, um, I want to know what you think. Um, anyway, that was part one of Brains in Vats, I hope you guys enjoyed, remember if you liked this video, like, comment and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications and follow my socials in the description. Down there you'll also find my subreddit and the Mythology Multiverse Discord, my TIL vids is down there too if you are on YouTube and my YouTube if you are on TIL. And as always I will see you next week babies.